Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD campaign. Here today, we're going to be starting episode 6 of my Kingdom of Poland Let's Play. Here today, we're going to be declaring war upon the Holy Roman Empire and stripping their title. The time has come for the Holy Polish Emperor in my opinion. So guys, if you still are enjoying this series and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. Feel free to leave a dislike if you're not enjoying it, of course. In the last episode, we managed to knock out the Teutonic Order in the Baltic here in Riga, and we also managed to take the Lithuanians off camera. We're going to be starting the episode here today, declaring war upon the Holy Roman. Roman Empire and uh, declaring independence for the majority of their puppets as I do have military alliances with most of them. We are the strongest Catholic kingdom in Europe. We're the second strongest in the game. England is just behind us of course but I think it's time to overthrow the Emperor Heinrich Heinrich and uh, we're going to install myself. We're going to steal the title of Emperor and call myself the Holy Polish Emperor. How does that sound, guys? So, we're going to attack Frankfurt here today. The man who controls Frankfurt controls the Holy Roman Empire. So, we currently have King Leszek here of the Kingdom of Poland. We've got Conrad here, my brother, and we've also got my son-in-law here as well. We currently have a full stack uh, up in the north defending sort of our Polish territories, of course. Got to say a huge thank you to the 1212 AD mod team, of course, for giving me a early access copy of the mod and making this series possible. So, as you can see, the Holy Roman Empire has the puppets of Trier, Schweiz, Lorraine, Austria, Milan, Genoa, Brandt, uh, Upstausboom, Saxony, uh, Brandenburg, Savoy, Varona, uh, what else have they got here, Provence, and Bologna. Now, a lot of these guys are also my military allies as well. So, we're going to declare war upon the Holy Roman Empire here now. We're going to grant independence to all of their puppet realms. And we're going to take the title of Emperor. So, let's declare the war. Let's see who uh, stands through either side. I imagine some of them will uh, side with potentially the uh, Emperor. Or they're going to side for independence and us. So, war has officially been declared. Okay, whoa. Okay, so a lot of things here. So, allies have refused to join the Holy Roman Empire side. So, Brandenburg, Saxony, Upstals, boom, boom. Uh, Brandt, Flanders, Sweden, Denmark, England, Lorraine, Switzerland, and Trier stand with the Kingdom of Poland. Well, okay, looks like most of the southern and Italian realms have decided to stand with them. Verona, Savoy, and Milan. These are all the ones that have uh, refused to join their side. So what I'm going to do, I'm instantly going to set a co-war target to the north here. Because there's a full stack here. Yep, there's a full stack. I think the unit recruitment stuff isn't quite finished for the Holy Roman Empire. That's why they tend to spam crossbowmen. I've, I've noticed that in a couple of builds. However, we're going to try and take Saxony here. We should uh, allow a lot of my allies to basically come in and swoop in and help out. Which would be fantastic. They've got a decent army here with the Pope's Will. And they've got another army in the south. Oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. There's a huge resistance down here. There's a full stack with Verona, there's a full stack of Milanese, and there's a full stack of Savoy. Oh wow, we have really rattled the, <laughs> the bird's nest, the bird cage. Okay, well, let's push in for the attack. So, let's send King Leszek to Frankfurt straight up to begin the siege and take the seat of the Emperor. We'll push down south with Conrad, my brother. And we'll let him siege, and we'll send this secondary army where? Because we can't quite see that, but we might be able to go for an assassination here. And what can my spy do to this other army? Uh, nothing really. Okay, I'm just trying to think what I should do with you. I think we'll just move you up next to 
my brother. So I've set a co-war target on Frank. I've actually set it on this army. Uh, okay, it's actually probably better to go for that army if I'm being honest. Okay, not really much else we can do here. How's our public order going here? Uh, it could be better. We might need to push you to like Poozen or something because that's actually quite close to that other territory. Like how far would it get? Yeah, we probably could stop over in Lithuania, just help with the public order. We've got buildings coming over here, so it should be all right. Okay, cool. Well, let's end the turn and continue. And let's see how the Holy Roman Empire reacts. But my plan worked. I'm so happy about that. Majority of it did. I was hoping all of their puppets would declare independence and uh, rise in rebellion. But Trier knocked out that five units just outside Frankfurt. So even the small garrison nearby is uh, not going to come back. We're going to be able to attack Frankfurt with impunity. Now... It does look like I can just see north, if you guys can just see that. I don't know if you can because of the resolution on YouTube sometimes. But it looks like the army's pushing this way to like Poozen or something. I have set a co-war target there, so let's cross our fingers and hope that, um, that someone accepts it. Whoa, why is that road glitching out? Okay, so it's actually pushing towards me here. Uh, how far away are you? Okay, so you're actually quite far away from Poozen. Anyway, double time. Okay, so let's take Frankfurt then. A clear-cut order resolve. Four units of urban militia and crossbowmen. The King Leshik is going to be able to take this one quite easily. Decisive victory and that. Now, because they are Catholic brethren at the end of the day, these people are Christian. And we should, uh, we should show them some mercy. So let's occupy the settlement straight up. Even though we're going to have to probably uh, break down the majority of the stuff in here. Because I simply don't need it. So we'll break that down as well. So we've taken Frankfurt, the heart of the Holy Roman Empire. And we've taken the throne. Send for the coronation! <laughs> what is this? Levy crossbowman. I was like, why does that have like three chevrons? So once the Holy Roman Empire is defeated, I will uh, call myself the Holy Polish Emperor. Kind of made it up. I thought it'd be fun to get rid of them because they're probably one of the big contenders, especially quite close to me. Knocked out the Teutonic Order. We've built a strong Polish state, uh, breaking away from the Grand Duchy and you know, pushing up through the Lesser. Okay, so let's take Munich here now as well with Conrad, another clear-cut victory. I want to have a battle against the Holy Roman Empire, but we'll just sort of have to see how things shape up. We might be having a battle more so against their military allies because, yeah, those, uh, those pesky Italians, Italianos, uh, oh! Right, okay. I'm holding out okay. I'm holding out well. Right, so can I move my spy? Move my spy to Dijon. And we'll keep you here. Okay. That's not going to rebel. That's fine. You need to head to Poozen. So does that co-war... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I still want you to try and hit that. If you guys can. If Brandenburg could hit that, that would be mad. Okay, so what can I do with this secondary army here? So what do the Holy Roman Empire still currently control? Dijon and this. Okay, so they are attacking the Swiss. The Swiss are under siege. So what's the Swiss garrison? Nothing too much. Should we fight for the liberty of Switzerland? I don't know if my men can get there in time. They're better off going to siege Dijon, I think. Let's go start the siege of Dijon, and one of these guys might be able to come in. Okay, let's start the siege, because I fear if I push for Switzerland, reinforcements will come from the north. Okay, if I can sort of hold you here, that'll be good, because there's another stack here as well. I would like to sue for peace with these other factions, if they're willing. Barona. Oh, Verona wants peace. Fantastic. Non-aggression. Oh, okay, well, we can peace out with Verona. What about Milan? They've accepted. Oh, they've rejected. What about Savoy? Oh, wow. Okay, so a lot of these factions don't actually want to stand with them, but they don't want to break their independence. 
Oh wow, I'm gonna accept a lot of this then. So it does look like the French here. I want to stay independent. Okay, so that saved a lot of my men here. Good. So maybe they're secretly against, but like, <laughs> legally, they don't want to break the pact. Okay, cool. Well, uh, let's... No, let's not repair that. Right, cool. Let's end the turn and continue with my governor's gone up in stat. And this governor has unlocked some. That's what I sort of want. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. Let's end the turn and continue. I want to have a battle against the Holy Roman Empire. Preferably against a full stack, but we'll just have to see. But the Swiss could be taken out here, if we're not careful. We might have to move my brother down to Bern. Because we're probably going to have to li uh, liberate the Swiss. Because they stood with us in this fight. Okay, so they've actually stopped the Siege of Bern. And they've pulled back and fortified in the mountain. Okay, that's interesting. So I'm sieging Dijon now in France. We could even, like, um, liberate someone, but we'll just have to see. They still have a territory further north in the region of Saxony. I'm going to send the Emperor further north. Okay, hostile agent actions. That's fine. Fire boot started. Let's intervene. Okay. Right, so that army is still hanging out here. It's nothing too much to be... Uh, it's not too troublesome. Okay, let's try and get you to here. And let's push further north. There's no way that can hit Frankfurt, I don't think, anyway. Alright, let's besiege Saxony with the Emperor. Oh, and the Emperor's inside as well. Okay, that could be the battle for the, the episode. Uh, we'll see. Okay, Dijon is there. How good is this army, though? Because we might play this one. Uh, if I could assassinate their general, make everything a lot easier. Failure, that's fine. Okay, uh, how far away are you? Yeah, you can push north here with Conrad. And we'll try and hit Dijon here now as well. So Dijon has fallen. We shall occupy it straight up. There wasn't even a uh, option to maybe liberate a France faction or something, which is a bit of a shame. But that's eight. Alright, cool. Where are we? You continue to siege Saxony. We'll push you here as well. Okay, I've got some money to spend actually. Oh, what's this? Ah, a Hungarian rebellion, eh? Okay, we're going to have to deal with that. Okay, cool. Well, let's end the turn and continue. Conrad, uh, this is my my brother here. Okay. I'll quickly show you the family tree as well. I think my bastard son might be of age. Okay, so... So, the... the I'm just trying to think what to call him. Yeah, I, wouldn't, I won't call him the Emperor until we knock out the Holy Roman. Okay, so I've married my daughter here. I have a bastard son who's 17. I've got another son who's 10 and 7. They're just not old enough yet, you know? And then I have my brother here, Conrad, who's married, who has married a duchy of Cilicia uh, and has a son as well. So, yeah, it's just because not as much time has sort of passed turn-wise. And I think, I, I think I've had some a lot of stillborns in this series. An infant, not still, yeah, rather infant mortality than than anything. Oh no! What the hell happened there? Ah, oh, I was pushing. Ah, oh, I think she's just all over Red Rover for the Holy Roman Empire. I was pushing north to burn to destroy that full stack and probably play that fight, but the English send an army from Lyon to ensure Swiss independence and democracy. Oh, that's cool to see. Oh, well. Oh, what's this? Oh, wow. Um. Okay, a couple of things here. So, these guys, a puppet of the Holy Roman Empire, have pushed against me here. The English are right next to me. They've clearly denied. I'm going to retreat. Are they going to give chase? That's what I want to know. 
I don't think they have. I'd like to peace out with them, to be perfectly honest. Because this was a Holy Roman Empire episode, not some fuck-off vassal. Yeah, they're accepted. Good. The bloody French here have just saved themselves a massive defeat. Because I would have charged off that mountain if they didn't accept that and fought with the English there. Alright, let's move out of here then. Let's move down to Munich itself. And where is the Holy Roman Empire? So, it's the last city here. Okay, how far is this army away now? I need to move you there. Okay, you can't quite get to Munich. Uh, why is it minus 19? Must be because of recent conquests or something. I do need to fix up the buildings where I can. Right, let's move you further north to Frankfurt because we've still got to deal with this secondary army here. Which has... Uh, three units of mounted cavalry, a lot of crossbowmen. I'm just trying to think, should this siege be the final battle? Yeah, we're going to have a better fight in this. Two units of urban militia, two units of sergeants, some heavily crossbowmen. And the emperor is here himself. We can actually take the uh, Holy Roman Empire crown. Okay, and we'll push you to try and deal with this so we can wrap them up in today's episode. Okay, cool. So we're going to have the siege of Saxony here today. The King of Poland will be facing the Holy Roman Emperor himself, Heinrich. Cool, let's fight this one on the field of battle today. So guys, this series will end in the future at some point. So let me know in the comments. Well, I could very much end it today. Look, you know what? I might put a pin in... What is this? Episode 6? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a pin in the campaign here. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this Polish series, or I think I might move on to something else. We've still got a couple of things we can do here and there. We could actually go on Crusade to Jerusalem, but I feel like that's too sort of similar to the Scottish sort of series. Yeah, maybe I need to move on to another faction. There's still a whole host of factions to play as. Maybe playing as something in the Far East as the Mongols might be sort of unique and different. Maybe playing as the Crusader States, the Principality of Antioch, um, or the Kingdom of Jerusalem and Cyprus, Sultan of Rums, up there as well. Maybe I should play as an Iberian Kingdom and throw back the Moorish Conquest. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Okay, welcome to the battlefield, guys. Oh, I want to try and re-roll some of this. There we go, two lots of fog and then a dry day. Perfect. Okay. So, where is there a limited amount of, um, machine gun nest towers, <laughs> basically? So, I think we're going to hit from this side. The front side is probably the best here. And even down here, there seems to be a lot less towers. Okay, so let's allow my sergeants to push up. They're the ones that are going to be taking the brunt of the force. I don't even know if I need this other army up here. Eh, I might just drag arrow fire away at the end of the day that might be helpful okay you can push through here you can push through uh, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like that anyway so you just go like this right that's not too shabby probably a lot closer just to avoid that last tower there but these guys here can be a bit more spread out okay cool so most of this army is made up of dismounted heavy armored hospitaller knights along with Templar as well. So, let's move you guys. We'll put two here. We'll try and drag um, arrow fire away, especially on this right flank. But really on the left, we're going to be allowed to rain fire and death upon the enemy quite easily. So, um, uh, should I even go... For yeah, I guess I might as well. Alright, so here is the army, of course. We have Hospitaller... On the ladders, these guys look absolutely fantastic. We have the Templar Knights, of course. Battle-hardened for years of service in the Polish Army. Even though there's no guarantee of seeing the Holy Land again. We have our own heavy Polish Knights here. Our winged Hussars, I like to call them. I don't think I can actually get them in this build of the campaign just yet. And then we have our Templar Knights, of course. But here he is, the man, the myth, 
And once he topples the Holy Roman Empire, the legend, all hail Emperor Leszek of the Holy Polish Empire. We're going to take his title of Emperor. Alright, let's get stuck in now, shall we? So, siege equipment. I'm going to give out the order to charge. Okay, and then we'll go like here. Perfect. There, that'll do. You can go something like this, and you can go bang smack there. Okay, archers, move up. And we'll move you guys here. So, the Holy Roman Empire has moved some urban militia onto the front there. They've also pulled up a barricade. They have some spearmen here as well. We should be able to get some good shots against them. Once my archers come up, we'll try and hit them. We have our left battering ram here, just to move forces from the main line. I don't expect these Polish sergeants to do a spectacular job or anything crazy against the city, but they might just sort of draw units further away. Okay, moving my archers up here now. I'm going to get them to target this spear unit. There's 60 before the initial shot, but we should really try and go for them as best as we can. Archers, make sure you're in range. Hit your target. They're now moving. Get your shots away. Okay. So they moved a barricade there. I can't even tell if we were hitting them there. We got a couple of them by the look of it. They're back in vision now. Shoot again. They're medium spearmen. So here are some Holy Roman Empire cavalry. I don't think we've seen it in this Polish campaign specifically, but we've seen them before in others. Moving into a, a better position. I don't think that's the Emperor, though. No, it's not. I was going to say, target him if it was. Okay, their crossbowmen are moving up now. Try and get a shot off there. At least try and weaken some. So they're falling up through the gateway here. Our siege equipment is slowly but surely making their way through. And we're just raining fire and death upon them. We're just trying to reduce those hit points as best we can. Okay. My dismounted Templars are making their way up. While our Polish archers shoot with impunity. They're quite strong, these archers. They're good lads. My battering ram is making its way. The Polish banner, nice and high. The first among the Piasts. <laughs> For King Elishk. <laughs> Alright, we're pushing up here now. The White Eagle rises, lads. Okay, well, they've done that tactic again where... I don't know why, but... Their archers push through. It's so it's so wacky. Oh, wow, my sergeants have actually made it way over there as... Oh, well, they've made their way over there. Good. We'll continue to shoot up and into this. My Templars now are ascending the wall. And we are really shooting up and over here. Good. Whoa, why has it done that? That's what I want. I want to get this shot here. Put your backs into it, men. We're taking Saxony. So it looks like some of the archers have pushed out to stop the battering ram. But our Templar Knights are up and over the walls now. Good. We need to give out some orders. So a charge has come in from their cavalry, which is what I wanted to kind of avoid. You push for this, you push for that. Okay, let's move our secondary reinforcements in now. You go here, you go there. Go something like that. We're going to have an easier time pushing from here. Okay, so how far is that wall coming down? Because if it comes down quick enough, we could very well be able to flank cavalry around. I think our best bet is to probably get our archers to hit these guys further at the back, but it's a hell of a shot to make, but some of our experienced archers are actually making it. Man, that's a hell of a shot to arc up and over two walls and even get accuracy about them. Or maybe it's easy because they're sitting higher up, they're not actually getting 
too much crazy around. Man, we're just littering them with arrows. Oh no, he copped like a double headshot there. Our arrows will blot out the sun. Oh my god. We're really getting stuck into them there. Okay, so let's swing around with this. Their cavalry just got absolutely carved up here. So, let's send some more guys around here. Let's try and break up this. Because we don't want that. So how are we going, wise? We have 2,753. They have 1,570. Okay. Alright, so we're actually fighting their urban militia here now in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Come here! Damn schweins! Come here, you bunch of krauts! <laughs> I don't know, what would they call us? Polish something? Okay, cool. Alright, let's push you around the back there. Let's push you up through this. Okay, is that wall bit? Is that gateway now, ours? Out of curiosity. Uh, very close to being, though. More so than this gateway, I reckon. Okay, so... Right, this is under our control. Good, okay. Let's charge that in then. There's nothing, there's not really anyone holding it too much. Okay, you push for this. Try and continue up here where you can. You might as well try and break down that barricade. Okay, we're going to break these arches here quite easily though. Even so, my own art. Oh, no, it's their arches. Ah, oh, Sarge, it's right. I was going to say, like, wh who's actually fighting here? It's theirs. Okay. Let's move my cavalry up in here now. The more guys we can get in, the better. We'll send one unit to break down the barricade. But I want to try and resolve this as quick as I can. So my cavalry is now pushing in. How far does it take to get rid of the barricade? Not too long, I hope. Okay, let's try and move you guys in. Swing you further down this way if we can. Okay, it's not doing too much damage. Okay, they're... They're breaking now. If I could somehow squeeze some cavalry down and around here. Okay, so these guys are through now. But we're gonna... Uh, we might as well just fall them back. Even if they get shot in the rear. Okay, we've got some free units here now. Okay, let's get some cavalry charges in. I don't think we're going to get around that. It's really only sort of these units here, if we can sort of push, if we can. Okay, let's fall my archers out. Why is that being grouped? It shouldn't be. Okay, we're still trying to break through the town square. Man, the amount of bodies on top, that just must make it so much heavier and harder. Ah, oh, shit. We're being, we're being hit here. Quite easily. Yeah, push around this. We just need to sort of flank around with my... Cavalry, if I can. So we want something like here. Go get here. I'll get my archers fucking out of this. They're now broken. Good. Go for the town square. This is now broken as well. Push up and over. We can finally push into this. God, if you don't make, if you don't close that distance there, you're going to be absolutely picked apart. Oh, there he is. Himself, the Holy Roman Emperor, charge men! Whoever gets that crown to Ilichk will become a lord. There he is, the Holy Roman Emperor, adorned in their colours. Oh, he's taking on some Polish men here, though. King Ilichk. Leshik is sitting back. 
Okay, so how well are we doing here now? Right, we need to push around and try and flank. The more men we can get here, is, is the better. Okay, let's flank with some of these guys. We're taking this town square, which is good. Basically allow everyone else here, but try and flank with this horse unit. This cavalry division. We'll try and throw more up here. Go for the guys further around the back. You go for this. We'll try and get a cavalry charge. Further around the back. Send a unit there. The rest go. Come on. Put your backs into it. Come on here. Here, here, here. I don't care if you're losing morale. Push around the back. This is where we want to be. If we can surround the Emperor, we've got him. Good. Now go. Come on, lads. Let's surround him. You've done the hard work. Don't throw it away now. Push, lads. Push, push. We've got him wide open here. Charge! He's taking almost to the Templar. But that surely must be it now. The enemy general is dead. The Emperor has been slain. The last of his loyal bodyguard here are fighting in the muck of defeat. Victory is ours. Saxony is Polish owned. Ah, oh, excellent. Alright, cool. Let's end the battle there. Decisive victory. If I do say so myself. So, King Leszek has now occupied the Holy Roman Emperor crown. He's picked it up from Heinrich's corpse <laughs> and now can officially be coronated. So, we deployed 2,753. We lost 346 taking the city. Heinrich, the Holy Roman Emperor, deployed 1,570 and lost 1,367. Arrow Towers did most of the work by the look of it. 3, 6, 5, 100, 120, um, what's it, 30, 40, 50, 70. Yeah, half of it was roughly due to um, Arrow Towers, which is quite insane. Archers 90, 90, 16. Cavalry did quite alright, 167. Templar Knights did most of the work, 155, 106, 103. Why Hospitalar sort of held in sort of flanked positions. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. We've taken Saxony here now. Decisive victory. Let's occupy the settlement straight up and repair and break down where we can so repair the main uh, that's all right keep that that inn's okay that bakery can go down and we'll keep that there as well so all that remains of the empire is this army here quillamine ah low at war with the known world rotting away at the edge of it near brandenburg how far are we away from actually dealing with something like that? A little further away. We could deal with it today, though. That's alright. We've taken their crucial Germanic territories and liberated their puppets from Brandenburg to Trier to Saxony and Switzerland. It's interesting how that sort of came about. Oh, I think the Danes dealt the final blow. No, there's still some remnants here, though. Denmark wanted to have a crack at them. Get some military experience. <laughs> oh, you cheeky fucking Danes. 
Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the term. Target lost. Serbia and Latin Empire. No, they were destroyed. The Holy Roman Empire has been destroyed. We didn't even need to send that other army up. So, we're at war with no one. And we've put, been pushed to strength ranked 1 after all that as well. How fantastic is that, guys? Well, unfortunately, on that note, it is time to end episode 6 of the Kingdom of Poland series here today. And the series, I believe. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to put a pin in the campaign. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more episodes. If not, I, I know personally I'm going to move on to recording other uh, other content on the channel. But nothing set in stone. Let me know in the comments. Depending on the likes, the comments, the suggestions, and what the general consensus is. I can always come back to this, do more episodes, if that's something you'd like to see. Or I'm going to move on to another strategy game or Medieval 1212 Let's Play. Let me know in the comments. Think of this, we've hit our short campaign objectives. You can leave and start a new campaign when you hit your sort of short victories, or you can continue on. There's still a couple more things we could do, obviously. England is quite strong. Maybe knocking them out of Europe might be fun. Um, and also going on Crusade. But I like to call myself now, not as the Kingdom of Poland, but as the Holy Polish Empire. Empire. Emperor. We've taken the crown. We've been coronated at Frankfurt. I like to kind of role play like that. But man, King Leszek out of one whole reign. Man, we started off in humble beginnings in uh, Krakow. We pushed out where we can and now we have this entire region along with our allied friends. Turning the puppets of the Holy Roman Empire against them. They all have their own independence now, which is great to see. But I don't think you should be able to have military alliances with puppets. I think that sometimes pushes out. Like, they should be... When you're a puppet, you should purely swore fealty. Because basically, what happened is, I declared war upon the Holy Roman Empire. They saw a chance to be independent. They took it out. And I don't know if they had overly better relations with me than their overlord. But it's kind of food for thought. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. And put in the chat, all hail Emperor Leszek, the Holy Polish Emperor. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications, notifications for the channel you have to click the bell of course to join the notification squad i do enjoy reading those comments patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the steam group come and join the community on steam and on that note unfortunately i have to end the video here thank you very much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is been cmc goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> That was probably the shot of the video there.